there guys well my name is Jacob uh, I picked up this old girl for the sweet deal of 300 bucks and uh, as a joke I told my buddies I'm like oh, I'm gonna take it down to Mississippi and you know a few years later I fixed it up and got the cheapest gear I could find slash free gear and loaded it up on the boat ramp on the Mississippi River and just started going south and I had zero expectations of it making it to the Gulf and when it did I'm like well I might as well continue and go for the whole great loop well, it started on Craigslist, you know, pretty much extinct now, but <laughs> found it. And it was actually the ski, a lift, and a trailer for 300 bucks. And I sold the lift for 600, doubled my money right off the bat and fixed it up. I mean, fuel system completely gone through. And I mean, as far as modifications go, it's pretty much bone stock, but we added a nice nine inch garment right here, which the first two years I didn't have that. And after having it, I could never not go back and then just some cleats and you know just kind of strapped a bunch of stuff to it filled the bow up with gear and it's just been a peach if it weren't for the people i met i would not be doing this trip anymore i mean because when stuff went bad or something broke or you know or weather was blowing in it kind of worked like clockwork that i always found someone or someone was willing to let me stay somewhere help me out with something or you know who knows what but yeah i ended up on a farm at wolf island the other day and man was that a awesome spot and the rain was coming in so they need a little help getting everything off the field though <laughs> right when i got there <laughs> really just i could say the craziest thing is the generosity of some people and you know you're going through all these places and just everyone's generosity you know everywhere i went i mean middle america florida the east coast new york numerous times in canada here just you know just great people along the entire route and i expect to run into many more on my on my travel back to milwaukee here <laughs> well the border i was i was like i've never been out of the united states ever until about 10 days ago on this thing so uh when i went to cross the border you know i had all my you know everything ready and then you know i did all this research and you know i made sure i was 100 percent legal and i i get there they asked me a few questions about you know everything you know that they're supposed to ask you and then it was they were like oh let's stamp your passport but i did end up talking to them for like 45 minutes about my trip and <laughs> all the gear and they had you know they were interested in everything i was doing they said they've never seen it before <laughs> if i could do this trip again or would i do this trip again are you know two different questions i mean would not on this ski probably you know i would probably want a newer ski that can handle the rough water a little bit better and you know handle the gear a little bit better but i totally would do it again but if i had to do it on this thing i mean there's really not much i think i would change i mean i think i got it pretty dialed as it is i mean being technically the fourth year but you know total of like 17 weeks on the water with it i think all the nuances and everything are pretty good uh, I would say there's nothing to do but just to do it. I mean, when I left, I didn't know what I was doing. I, had, I still don't know what I'm doing, let's be honest here. <laughs> I mean, I don't know where I'm gonna be. I rarely ever plan a day out. Most of the time I just go and I run into good people or I find a good spot or, but that's bit me a couple times. It's probably better to plan a little bit more than me because uh, sometimes you get stranded in really bad spots because of it. <laughs> I mean, I've lived out of tents in Colorado and, you know, I bought a 70s truck bed camper for 600 bucks, lived out of that for a summer in Colorado and, but nothing even remotely the level of this trip and the stupidity of this trip. Thank you.